Okay, I just got out of Meg 2. I can't believe what they put in this film. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, over the top, ridiculous. Everything that you thought would be in this film is in this film as ridiculous Sharknado type film. Yes, that's exactly what it is. And before I get into spoilers, just real quick, I give it about a six out of 10. Loved it better than Ant-Man. It is stupid fun. If you want a movie that's just stupid, stupid fun, um, let's see. No nudity, no uh, harsh language. Even the kill scenes weren't over the top, like gory. So just, just to kind of throw that out there. Uh, woke stuff, absolutely not. <laughs> Nothing in there. But uh, if you like the first movie, you'll probably like the second one. My biggest complaint is that the Meg is not really the star. It's kind of like a side attraction that happens because something else is going on. And like the first... Uh, I guess the uh, part one of the, the, the film is kind of slow. Uh, the, the last 35 minutes is like, is there anything else they could throw in this film? I'm talking dinosaurs, Kraken, uh, anything <laughs> that they could throw in this film, they threw in this film. And I will say this before I get into spoilers, they, they really did a nod to Jaws. They did a nod to Jaws. There was a dog in this film named Pippin just like in the first movie. They did mention Jaws 2 in this film on how they make, uh, they put poison in the tips of bullets. That scene where Quinn is sliding down the boat and the and the, and Jaws is trying to bite, they, they kind of redid that scene. And um, all right, so yeah, now spoilers, now spoilers. Five, four, three, two, one. So to continue with that, near the end of the film, they like redid Jaws 2. Remember Jaws 2? I don't know if you remember Jaws 2. They were on that little floating island. And uh, Chief Brody was banging on, on this electrical wire to get the shark's attention. So they kind of redid that in their own way near the end of the film. But the movie starts off like 6 million years in the past. And T-Rex is chasing uh, these other dinosaurs on the beach. And <laughs> so the Meg comes out of nowhere. And so it's like the Meg versus T-Rex. And the movie begins. So a Chinese corporation, I guess, has bought this Oceanographic Institute. And they're putting in a ton of money to explore the trench from the first film. And they did get a baby Meg after the first film. And they've got it in captivity. So they've grown it from a baby. And like they, some of, some people think they can control it with like beeps and stuff. So there's like a bit. Sorry, I'm sitting in my car in the parking lot of the theater. So there's like a baby Meg that's a lie that they've kept in captivity and people come around and see it. So billions of dollars from a Chinese donor. And that's where you get a lot of people. They speak Chinese. You got to read the subtitles and stuff. It's not like that throughout the whole film, but it, to me, it really looked like they tried to tap into that market, the China market of these over the top movies. Well, they go to explore the trench again, because that's what they're doing. And there's one part of that trench from the first film. That's where the Meg was discovered originally. Whereas like, they just never explored. It's kind of, it's, it's more dangerous there. So they never go that way. And for some strange reason, for whatever reason, in the middle of the night, the Meg that they had in captivity that was in their own little pond figures out how to break loose and goes towards the trench. Well, because it's mating season for the Meg, right? So he's like, his hormones are all messed up. And while they're going down to explore the trench, the little baby Meg is like chasing them, you know? And, and so they're like, oh my gosh, the Meg's chasing me. And so they go to the area where they've never been before and they've discovered a whole nother team of people have been down there mining like the ores or something in this trench area. And uh, there's all kinds of different creatures in this, like dinosaurs and stuff like that and stuff from way back when that's in this trench. So the Meg... The baby may kind of disrupts everything and like uh, through the dis through uh, the mining, all these rocks fall on their subs, you know, the star Jason statement, all them. And they've got to get out in these special suits and they make their way to this platform under the water. Like, who are these people? How are they doing here? What are, what are they doing? They finally make it to that other place. And someone from the uh, team in China has betrayed them. And they have been mining the trench for some time, making billions of dollars of on these rare ores 
that are down there. Now, one of the person that's betrayed them, and they're all women. All the women are like, all the women like betrayed them. They're like the bad guys. Not not all the women, but uh, but they're the ones that did the, the betraying. And so there's someone else that's on the station. That's a bad person. It's a woman. It's a bad person. So she gets, she, she figures Jason's, you know, his team is in the station in the trench. And so she's like, all right, well, I'm going to kill them. And then we're going to kill the people here. And we're just going to continue mining and everything's going to work out fine. So there's a fights that pursue and all this stuff like that. And, you know, with some ridiculousness, they were able to escape. I mean, I, there's no need to go into all that. And while they were escaping and being chased, they opened up the trench portal and all the Megs got out. <laughs> So the Megs got out. So there's like, um, you know, it looks like one of those uh, oil rigs out in the ocean. So they start off there and the bad guys that are mining, they all got guns and they're trying to capture, you know, the other people. And so like, that's that's the big part of the first hour of the film. And you're trying to figure out why that's going on and who's behind all this and all that. And so then they, then they got to get out. Through some ridiculous fighting and ridiculousness, they were able to get on a little blow up boat and try to make it to this island from that oil rig. And they're being chased by the bad guys. And the bad guys are getting eaten by the sharks and everything. So they, on this little blow up boat with a motor, they, <laughs> they build these spears that can explode. And they get to this island that they don't even know of called Fun Place or Fun Island, something like that. And that's where everybody's just... Um, everybody there's like speaking Chinese and they're just like in their bikinis and having a good time. There's a dog there named Pippin, the nod to Jaws. And what they did was they op when they opened up the trench, not only did the Meg escape, but a Kraken escaped and other dinosaurs that can live in water and land escaped. So there's just these ridiculous fight scenes with dinosaurs on land. There's a Kraken in the water <laughs> that's just killing people. And there's Megs just kind of floating around, destroying everything. So once you get to that part in the film, it just goes freaking nuts. Like, uh, just when you think it's safe, the Kraken comes and, and uh, you know, destroys a boat and eats a bunch of people. The Meg is just like, just like in the preview, got his mouth open. It's just chomping down on hundreds of people. And uh, everyone's trying to survive. So they make these Meg ship bombs. And you get to see a Meg burst cracking under the water CGI scene that is absolutely over the top. How our heroes survive certain things, absolutely over the top. These dinosaurs jump in the helicopter. They set them on fire with gasoline. I mean, everything is crazy. Our star, he's got these explosive spears and he's on a little jet ski out in the ocean and the Megs are chasing him and he's right like the Megs jump out of the water in slow motion to try to bite him and he rides the wave and blows them up it's ridiculous it is ridiculous everything is beyond ridiculous like it's so ridiculous it's laughable ridiculous so if you like that type of film uh this is the movie for you this is the movie for you so but again the Meg was the side story once they ended up killing the megs the uh little baby meg showed up and they're like oh yeah we can control them with beeps and they control them and the baby meg swims out to sea so with all that said and done the star jason statement his daughter you know she ends up being in trouble and it's like uh you know he saves his daughter a few times and and stuff like that so all that's all that's mixed up in this film so if that's the type of stuff you want to see this is the movie for you actually even though I gave it a six, uh, like I said, I enjoyed it more than some of the Marvel films, a little superheroed out. Didn't see Barbie, didn't see Oppenheimer um, or any of that other stuff. But I was looking forward to this because I was just looking for stupid fun in the theater. People laughed when they were supposed to laugh. People laughed when it was outrageous. People laughed, you know, at the end. And there was a clap at the end after the Kraken and the Meg fought each other. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So anyway, that's it. Meg 2, if you've seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Jay, and uh, <laughs> until next time.